Click to start, which I just did. Oh, okay, this is the direction I'm moving. Ha! Yeah! I like to zoom in, but I kind of could use some flashes and pauses. I died. My life has just lost all meaning. I died even sooner than before. I died just as quickly. Forget about combos. Well then, 25 is not a bad score. I think I'm gonna stick with the safe and sound method. There's real back, that's cool. So far the graphic effects are really good, but as mentioned earlier, it, the, the text doesn't quite have the oomph. I would definitely look into, uh, Google into like how to do flash pauses, because those are really good effects to use that makes your attack feel a lot more powerful. Now the enemy's attacks are a bit stiff. I mean, the concept is solid, though. I do like the gameplay a lot. It's nice, simple, easy to understand. Quick, fast-paced. Ah! Darn you. You might want to pull in a little reticule indicating how, how far you can attack. So, for example, like, I know I can't slash the entire, through the entire screen, and it's good for game, you know, it's good for balancing reasons that you did that, but I highly recommend making sure that you have a, um, you, you have, like, some sort of line letting you know what your range of attack is. Oh, man. This is tragic, I'm not listen. I'm not able to hear the entire music composition. So what's keeping me from uh, wanting to just constantly click? Okay, there's re there's actual recoil, so that's a good reason. I also feel like there's occasionally like cheap deaths in this game. Because, you know, the enemy will just seemingly spawn out of nowhere. So an idea to prevent that is having some sort of forewarning, some sort of like foreshadowing letting me know that an enemy is going to be spawned at a specific location. So usually there, a lot of games have like a, a half a second um, indicator by pulling a little particle effects when... Um okay, combos are based off of time, it makes sense. So a lot of games, for example, has uh, a little foreshadowing that lets you know when an enemy is about to spawn, and exactly where. I would highly recommend using the same thing, uh, doing this, using the same capabilities. Okay, I think I get how the combos work. Alright, I don't know how the combos work. It seems like it's based off of accuracy. Alright, so the more enemies there are, the higher the combo, huh? Alright. Oh gosh. Maybe that was a good ending. Oh, 
there is a Flappy Bird level of addictiveness in the gameplay because of its simplicity, so I appreciate that. Otherwise, like, this is almost there. I, I can feel it. Aw, oh, I didn't get up to combo 10. Oh. Yuri was not really telling because, um... couldn't tell when Fury was coming up because it's on the bottom of the screen. If it's appeared right above the character, that would be a lot more great. Alright, this is getting vicious. No, 138. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright. Nope, that didn't work. No! You have bested me. I have died. Yeah, combos would make a lot more sense if it appeared right above the character because that's exactly what I'm focusing on. Either that or the mouse cursor. Character preferably because, again, that's what I'm focusing on the most. Yoink. Oh. Uh, when you die, like it, it's very anticlimactic. You might as well make that also feel like feel like it hurts. Oh, that was quick. Again, some sort of meter to the Fury would help, having some sort of letting me know how long it's going to last, so that I can make some ju uh, passing judgment on how to react. Alright. If it sounds like I'm having a lot of criticism, it's because I'm actually enjoying this game. <laughs> and because of that, like, the flaws are so, mi so much more obvious to me. First off, like, I like the mouse cursor, the animation is really good, the graphics is really good. I mean, it's really minimalistic and repetitive, but I like it for what it is. Um, it keeps me focused. I'm okay with the fact that I only have one HP so f in this game. It's like, th there's nothing so far that I find offensive about that. I definitely think a variety of new enemies could have helped. I, it looks like you just increased the number of enemies in this case, and that's kind of unfortunate. Ah! I know I should have full screened this, but... Meh. Alright, yeah, there's a little recoil that's important to memorize, so you can't just rapidly click around. So there is some strategy involved, and I do appreciate that. I was too strategic.
Oh man, this game is so close um, that the flaws really hurt. I mean, the AI is awesome, as they are. Feels very fair. The difficulty isn't too bad, it has... It's genuinely addictive in a lot of ways. What? When did he come in? See, that was completely unfair. No. Darn it. I have fury. Yeah, I kind of would like a little foreshadowing on these enemies, but that's just me. Such as the direction they're going to attack. There's also the fact that they unfairly skid while, you know, doing their attack preparation. But I'm just being a little... Uh, Alright, I think I got a good idea of this. That was pretty cool. Link, there we go. I like that. Um. Dar, 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 dar. Innovation! Mm, I, I actually like the controls, but technically speaking, I have played like similar Flash games. Uh, I think I played like a platformer where you had to use uh, the mouse and uh, click to move. I do like the fact that um, just pointing in a direction allows your character to move in that direction. And that's actually a really neat... Uh, you can create a lot of really neat strategies from that part of it alone. Uh, and you know, you can tell that I was using an attack just to position myself and not really attack other characters. So I can see a lot of depth in this gameplay alone. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, fun! I actually had a lot of fun with this. Uh, remember I, earlier I said that you know there, I had so many criticisms and the, my main reason is because, like I said, I thought that was a particularly fun game. Um, that the things that you, you could have done, the two people who made this game, that they could have done uh, to enhance the game, to make it that, to make it like almost perfect, that five star quality, uh, it just kind of hurts to, for me to see some certain lack of things in the game. So, but yeah, I did have fun with it. Um, it's just four stars right now because it felt like it was missing just a few more things. Um, the theme was, to be quite frank, poor. I didn't really... I mean, yeah, I guess that is supposed to be a monster of sorts. It looks more like... Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. It looks more like dust from the Dust the Elzean Tale. And to be completely honest, uh, that, was a, that was strongly inspired by, by South Korean... Um, culture rather than Japanese, and I, I can say this because I'm Japanese myself. <laughs> I just didn't quite see the semblance. Um, 
But that's not the reason why I said the theme is kind of one star. It doesn't particularly make me feel like a monster. There wasn't any presentation in it that made me feel like, oh, I'm supposed to be a particularly scary monster or a nice monster or anything like that. So it was kind of strange to find that. I guess from a legendary perspective, we can say it might be a monster or something like that, but I don't know. Uh, either way, not something I would rank high on this game. Uh, the graphics were really good. Um, I mentioned earlier that it's a bit repetitive. Um, and a bit too simple in its way. Uh, I still stand by that, but for the most... like I, I can tell, for example, looking at this, that all the blood effects are pretty much the same. Um, maybe there could have been like a few more enhancements, such as blood steps or like having some sort of sand garden or some sort of you know landscapey things to uh pull a little variety in this game um there's also the fact that i'm looking at this screenshot right now and actually it's really easy to mistake the difference between a dead character and a live one as well as the color contrast between the blood and the en enemies kind of makes it hard to see them apart um, I didn't particularly have too much problems with that per se, but it was something, I did have a lot of moments where it felt like I had a lot of unfair deaths, so there's that too. Uh, no humor, don't know why you had that in there, I guess audio was not original, and mood, um, it kept me in a frantic mood, and I think that the graphics did a lot to lend itself to that, as well as the music as well, so might as well give that five stars, because I do think you got that solid. Um... As mentioned earlier, there are just so many enhancements you could have done. I felt like that it was so close, but I do think this is um, definitely one of my contenders for one of my favorites. Um, not quite the favorite, because obviously you can tell I only gave four stars to this, but it's definitely a high mark of a four star, and I'm just really picky on what I consider is the best. Uh, you know, the best Ludum Dari game. So, keeping that in mind, um, very, very fun and addictive. Really like the simple controls. Um, The game often felt like it killed me uh, unfairly, though, so a few visual enhancements might help. For example, um, Or shadow where an enemy is going to appear or have the enemy appear only outside of the camera uh, have a line indicating the range of your attack make it much more clear that an enemy is about to attack by a some sort of charge special effect Some new enemy types and obstacles would really change the mix, too. I also recommend looking into adding screen flashes and it pauses 
time stopping very briefly when hitting when certain actions uh, when hitting an enemy Camera shakes. So yeah. Had a lot of fun with that, liked it. Cool.